Good day everybody, Old Lamer here again. As many of you were asking, small tutorial about compact power supply for 3D printed cases for BC250. Uh, meanwhile, LOP300 12 volt version. So I'm gonna make a brief explanation of how uh, you have to connect this power supply. Uh, in your in your case which you are building so we as you can see in the description uh, which I'm gonna uh, leave a link in the my video uh, so you can find the same specification of the power supply as you can see here it's very compact it's four by two inches one inch uh, thick uh, it's relatively 10 by 5 centimeters and 2.5 centimeters thick. Um, it has uh, LOP 300 means it has 300 watt uh, rated output. It's high efficiency power supply. As you can see, it's 94%. Uh, it has all this domestic and industrial certification, which is uh, okay. It's good to have. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what we have. The specification of this power supply uh, says that up, un, up to 180 watt it can run without uh, cooling, but if you have to use full capacity of 300 watt, you need to apply at least uh, 11 cubic feet per minute fan. Um, that's basically any fan 60 millimeter by 15 millimeter thick uh, will deliver this airflow but you need to bear in mind that you need to foresee some cooling uh, through this power supply in order to have a safe operation okay so here you can see the detailed drawing of the board uh, on the power supply itself you have the 220 connector over here you have the output, 12 volt output on that side and here you have a connection for the cooling fan. Okay, so what is nice in the manual you see specification of all type of connectors uh, which uh, you need to uh, use in order to connect to the power supply uh, hustle free. So AC input, this is the standard for the uh, typical connector it is three pin connector but one pin is not utilized this is the code gst standard for the dc output this is the code for the connector it it has six uh, pins three pins are positive voltage and three pins basically ground um, fun connector this is the specification this is a basic two pin 12 volt which is important 12 volt fan okay so LOP itself is uh, relatively cheap you can uh, search in your uh, local store or I, I'm using eBay uh, I'm sorry I'm using Aliexpress just for a reference I'm not affiliated with any company I I'm just a PC enthusiast which is sharing my experience so very important that you pick a 300 watt model to have spare uh, to supply our BC250. It's very important to pick 12 volt version because there are many of them as you can see here. Okay, for the um, basic layout, this is how it should look when you connect your power supply. On the left side you can see there is a 220 PC socket AC05. Uh, there is a small switch KDC4. Uh, this is just to energize the uh, power supply before uh, sending power to uh, BC. Like this, you can use the little switch to shut it down uh, without necessity to unplug each time your power cord. On the right side of this image you can see the connection of PCIe 8-pin uh, connector 
which is used on BC250. As you can see, there are three, uh, uh, three uh, yellow lines. This is positive 12 volt and uh, black lines. This is basically ground. You see the pinout in the top right corner. All right. So at the end, of course, you will pick the proper location inside of your case. Uh, length of the wires will be adjusted accordingly, but the basic drawing is like that. Uh, this is the pinout for the PCIe uh, connector, which you have to attach to the power supply in, in order to energize the board. Okay. And here is the small image of the connector of the fan uh, to cool down the to cool down the power supply. And of course, you can take the power from directly from 12 volt uh, terminal and uh, use any fan you like. So here you can see the uh, power socket which is required or recommended, but it can be any uh, power socket you prefer. Here is the switch, which was uh, also on my basic drawing. You can use also this kind of uh, switch together with the power socket, depending your design of your, of your case. Here I, I put already the a link, well it's not a, really a link, but it's just an example that you see that the prices for all these connectors are very low. Uh, so this, you need to search for GSTVH, you need to pick for the output, you need to pick 6 pins version, you can see it here. For the input uh, from uh, 220 or 110 if you have uh, or 120 if you are from US uh, for the input you need to also you have to search for GST VH uh, and you need to pick a three pin three pin connector according to the uh, according to the drawing on the on the board okay regarding the cooling uh, you can use any cooling you would like but uh, minimum uh, it's just a rough estimation for sure is much better if you find the specification of the fan if it can deliver 11 cubic feet per minute but uh, as per my experience uh, starting from size 60 uh, and thickness 15 uh, millimeters uh, 12 volt it's important um, so this fan already can deliver necessary airflow to cool the uh, the power supply you can see here on the on this drawing they say that this is the direction preferable direction from where you need to uh, supply the air and okay they, they also included the recommended distance that you need to a little bit keep it away from the direct contact with the power supply and in the middle basically in the middle of PSU so please bear in mind when you design your case for the with this recommendation and uh, my last uh, recommendation is to use a good quality uh, good quality PCIe uh, cable with a connector uh, which because we are going to send above the recommended uh, uh, power through this cable and uh, you need to have a good thick wires for that. So I recommend to use this kind of uh, braided uh, cable with the thick wires um, in order to have no any issues with overheating of the connector itself. Usually uh, relatively above average or average quality cables they work well Un unless you really pick some very cheap thin uh, thin wired cable then you might ha have some kind of uh, issues with overheating. So please, when, once you assemble everything, you energize the BC250. Uh, once it's running, you make a stress test, you run a Furmark uh, or some AAA game, and you touch, you monitor the cable uh, connector to the board. 
that it's not really overheating. It's important before you assemble everything and start using that you, you checked that there are no weak points, there are no weak links in your power supply because uh, it, it may result in uh, some significant damage uh, or a fire basically if it will melt, uh, smoke and stuff like that. Normally it's very rare occasions but it's important to take, to take care. So once again I'm gonna leave in the description of the video the link to the specification. Uh, all other uh, all other drawings and I mean sketches and uh, examples you will see in my video. You can always post this. So I hope it helps. Uh, I wish you luck and enjoy your fun project. Uh, as usually, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye.